Good morning, Cedar Shores. We are up bright and early, 4.09 a.m., and money is made on Thursdays, baby. They all say that, so we are going to get started early. Early bird gets the worm. Let's go ahead and call our elevator, and uh, we are back for some more Denison Open World Life Simulator. Back here for episode two. I got to be honest, this is the most intriguing game that I have ever played. So in that first episode, we flipped pizzas for an hour or four, four or five hours, made about a hundred bucks. And then right after that, we went and broke into a warehouse, stole some files and got paid 500 for it. So I, I kind of want to start this episode. I'm assuming his hours are all hours of the day. I want to go see our boy Austin in this totally not conspicuous, boarded up uh, storefront here. We're going to see if he has any other jobs for us. How you doing, Austin? Looking for more work? I'll send you a message next time I've got something for you. Yeah, he's he's bad news, dude. He's got security behind him. He's got pliers. He's got girls. I mean, he's he's living life. He's, he's doing it. Not in the, the most upstanding contributing member of society way but he's he's doing it so i guess if we were to make more money we're just gonna have to take some more jobs i don't know how much there is to do in this game here in the beta but um i do know there are a couple more jobs we've got forklift operator or courier driver let's we, we started as pizza cook we're gonna apply to forklift operator job climax logistics is seeking a forklift operator to be employed at kingswood warehouse must have an understanding of forklift machinery applications are unavailable Courier driver applications are unavailable. So I guess we're doing neither of those. I'm going to explore around a little bit. We haven't really left this main street much. I'm not sure if we're allowed to yet because it is a beta like I'm... Dude, this is beautiful. So we are up here kind of in the middle of nowhere, Canada, huh? Is this another retail store here? Oh. Oh, come on, Trevor. Hey, buddy, I'm going to need another one of those um, lock picks here. I'm going to purchase four of them just in case. Okay, so we've, we've got a mysterious building over here that we can lock pick, making me a little bit nervous, but I guess we'll find out what's on the other side. Sun is rising here. Dude, this game is just so beautiful. All right, let me see what we've got going on. I will say you really have to focus. This is harder than it looks. You got to click it. Not on the thing. You got to... You got to click it before if you actually want it to, to end up hitting. I don't feel good about this. Why does it sound so empty and airy in here? Bro, what? I'm just going to set that behind me. I'll prepare for major weather. Storage. There's nothing in there. I have a... A really bad feeling about this. Get me out of here. I don't know what that was. It's empty. I, I, I'm not going to ask any questions. I Please don't bust up my kneecaps. I was going to go down that back alley, but I'm not. I kind of have to, right? Dude, what? Is this just like a retail store? What's? Let's romp. Okay, I feel a little bit better out here. That was creepy. Okay, just an empty... Uh, I think it's just an empty building. I don't know if there's much else we're going to be able to do with that. We haven't been in the homeless shelter yet. I think this is one of the final things we haven't explored. I mean, it'll let us sleep. I, I don't really want to sleep, though. I don't want to oversleep our shift at the, the store. We slept for about an hour. So if we can't end up paying for our apartment because we spent it all at the blackjack table, then we at least know that we have a place to go. And there's there's a kitchen and stuff in there. Okay, interesting. I like that we've got a, a backup plan. Everyone should have a plan B, right? So hopefully it doesn't get to that point. I really do. I mean, what time is it? It's 7.50. I kind of want to hit the blackjack table. Here in the station bar, I'm not going to waste my money on any alcohol. I'd rather find a different vice here. She hasn't been good to us so far, but I I, I really, I believe we're going to be able to get something done here. A 21. Okay. A 20. A, dude. So there's a car in there for $7,000 or so, and then there's a, a house that we could buy for twenty five. dollars I don't know how we're going to get there on a $7 an hour pizza boy salary. We need Austin to either hit us up or find something else to do. Can we apply in the medical clinic? What, what goes on in here? I guess we haven't been in here yet. How you doing, sir? You can buy medication. Stimulants. Sleep is a waste of time, so try these government-endorsed stimulants. Latest research indicates a 25% increase in energy and alertness after a single dose. We've also got antidepressants and alcohol detox pills. We can get a lung transplant. New lung transplant procedure will replace your inferior biological lungs with a new set of synthetic breathing apparatuses allowing you to run for over 25% longer. Gastric bypass reduces your hunger by 25% and then a sympathectomy increases your hygiene retention by 25%. Interesting. So you, you can physically turn yourself into a better specimen. Dude, this is kind of... 
It's kind of a little bit creepy. I'm not going to lie to you. Like the, the, this dude just cutting people up and, and, and putting fake things. I, I, I don't know. There, there's some weird murderous vibes about this game for sure. I, I just, I want to go back to my pizza shop. We're going to wait for our, our job to start here at the, uh, the pizza city spot. Um, I mean, while we wait, let's, let's go ahead and see if we can get lucky. Maybe we won't have to go into work. I, I, I would like to be able to buy that car. I don't think we're going to be able to. Oh, whoa, 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 oh, baby. We won nine. Okay. That was a max bet too. a max bet of three. Oh, the slots are going better than the, the blackjack table has done us. Another one. We won three there. We might want to quit while we're ahead. Yeah, that's not a good one there. It's 1029. Can we show up to work a little bit early? We can. Let's go, baby. All right. It's time for your boy to put on that apron and, and start getting to work here. We got a classic. So we're going to go with that special sauce, that mozzarella, that mushroom, that pepperoni, and that green pepper. All right. I'm, I'm going to put a little shift in here. I'll let you. I, I'm, my goal is to, to rank up. I think we're going to rank up here fairly soon and we might get a new type of pizza. So we'll see how it goes. Who knew this is all it took to... to you know, intrigue me in a video game. It's just a pizza making simulator. This this is the silliest. Ooh, a meats pizza. I don't think we've seen this before. So we're gonna put pepperoni on there. We've got our bacon. We've got our ham. We've got our sausage right here. And we've got our hamburger. Beautiful. That's a new a new type we haven't seen. A Greek pizza. We need feta. F feta over here. Onion, this sounds really good. Tomato, I feel like the tomato is always hard to see. It's right there. And then black olives. That, I mean, that's a, a bit different. I love feta cheese, dude. That's that's nice. All right. So we did rank up, but I think we're a level four pizza cook. Are, are we eventually going to get any, can we ask for like a raise? Because I, I feel like, look at this. We're getting higher quality pizzas, getting 39 XP for doing them. Cheese pizza's already good to go. Come on, boss. You got to be paying attention to this. Are you watching me on the cameras? I came in here. I opened up. You didn't even have to coach me. You didn't have to do anything. I just hopped right into it. I knew exactly what to do. Taking care of business. Nobody's had a bad order yet. And our, our churn and burn through the pizzas is the best it's ever been, baby. We have the most that we have ever had. Mushroom on there. Onion on there. Tomato on there. Beautiful. Just like that. Your boy is a well-oiled machine. I will say I was kind of hoping to be able to take some more jobs today. I didn't think we were just gonna be stuck doing the pizza job. I mean, I, I, I like it. So the, the other thing was a forklift operator, which we used a little bit in the, the steel mission in the first episode. And then we also, I mean, a courier, that'd be cool. I wonder if we're gonna work for this pizza place. Probably not, I think it's gonna be somewhere else. But think about, you know, driving to the store, picking up whatever food order it is, driving it to the person's house. I don't know how the houses and neighborhoods are going to be. The, the, the opportunities for this game are truly incredible. Like if we could have an actual, obviously it's not going to be a huge city, but if we could have a, a fairly sizable map, even if it's just something like our car dealer simulator, like it, it, it just like, it could be insane. Going for the pizza record here. We've, this is 10. We've got two minutes, 19 seconds left. If we can get 20, I'm going to be impressed. The thing is, ooh, barbecue chicken. Shoot. Can I put this down? We got to get rid of that. No, no, no. It's mixing it up on us. We got barbecue sauce now. We got mozzarella. I knew a barbecue chicken pizza was coming. I literally talked about it in the first episode. Onion, tomato, green pepper. Dude, I, I got to be honest. If you guys haven't had a tomato, chicken, green pepper, or just chicken and green pepper pizza. It is so good. It, it is absolutely incredible. This barbecue chicken sounds good. I feel like I like tomato sauce more, but chicken and green pepper is, is really, really solid. Got a veggie pizza here. So green peppers, black olives, mushrooms, onions, and tomatoes. Hopefully boss doesn't mind. Most of the pizzas, except for the barbecue chicken, take these two off the rip. So I'm still gonna pre-make those. We're trying to beat our record. I just don't think we're gonna be able to do it because our pizzas got more intense. Hawaiian pizza, we're gonna need that pineapple, we're gonna need that ham, we're gonna need that pecan. Beautiful. It would be cool if eventually they took away the, um, whatever it's called, the ingredients there, the ingredient list, so you just had to, you know, kind of remember it and learn it. Grab our pepperoni, that thing's good to go. Not gonna lie, my, my hand just flicking back and forth, my wrist is like, bro, what are you doing? Just flicking back and forth over and over, starting to get a little bit sore, just grinding here, baby. Got all that done, beautiful. I, I can only imagine, like, it's, it's kind of fun in this, this 
video game world, but in real life, if you're just doing the same thing over and over and over again, it it would get pretty daunting pretty quick for sure. It, it's silly right now, but this would be a uh, not an easy job in real life. So it does appear that we're gonna beat our record. Our record was. So 17 Trev you're messing up here you gotta clutch up bro you gotta clutch up you gotta clutch up record was 17 which we just hit right there please tell me this isn't gonna be a barbecue chicken bacon cheeseburger special sauce cheddar dude we actually got really lucky there mushroom bacon hamburger interesting I've never seen that one we're a level 6 pizza cook now though so I guess it makes sense this next one's gonna end up being something weird like Hawaiian or something this actually sounds really good I've never had that we got 18. I wanted to get 20. I don't think we're going to get 20 unless we get like two cheeses in a row. Black olives, mushrooms, onion, tomato. 30 seconds. We might, dude. We might. Please, dude, tell me. Please tell me it's it's something with the special sauce and the mozzarella. We might be able to get it. Go, 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 go. Go. Hit 20. 20 would be huge. Come on. 25 seconds. Let's go. We got this. We got this. We got this. Barbecue chicken. You mother fudger. Get rid of it. Barbecue chicken, barbecue sauce, barbecue sauce, mozzarella. Uh, you can't mess this up. Mush, mushroom, onion, chicken, green pepper, tomato. 15 seconds. Come on. Oh, my God. Hurry up. I think we got it. I think we got it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up, you stupid oven. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We... Qu quadrupled I was gonna say quintuple we did not quintuple it we quadrupled our shift baby I'm I'm dropping the mic and walking out stay here I don't want to get fired or anything 20 pizzas in four minutes that's incredible two hundred and forty two dollars of earnings honestly pretty good so two shifts of high quality high effort pizza making equals one break in into the um Whatever you want to call it. I'm, I'm going to go have myself a beer. Oh, how you doing, brother? You mind if I sit here? I'm going to order myself a drink. Just, oh, that one took it out. Took took it out of me, man. It's tough. I got a drink right here. Some coffee. I'm going to have another one. Why not? Uh, on a hard day's work. And you know what? I might have a third one. I, I'm sad because I don't know if there's anybody I can talk to in this town. Like, I physically... I, is there anyone I can talk to? Can I... I can't talk to the women. I can't talk to the guys. Keep in mind, again, it's a beta. Wow, he's he's chilling. He's having a good time. I wouldn't mind taking a seat here, chatting him up, seeing what he's been up to. He seems like a cool guy. We've got an ATM back here. Can we use the the women's restroom? Is that weird? <laughs> it's going to drop an upper decker up there for him. Le leave it there. Wash my hands. Make sure you take care of yourself, baby. We are hungry. I don't know what we're going to be able to do about food food i know we have a candy bar in our inventory and i think we might have one small thing in our fridge but is there any i mean can i go in here when i'm not working use phone to select shift oh we're we're a little drunk huh look at us look at how hazy everything is yeah unfortunately i can't talk to people so they do say that there's kind of a social aspect to it in the loading screens and, and you see like the pool party scene where you're playing music for people i'm assuming that eventually you're going to be able to talk to people on the street have conversations make friends things like that do you have any food furniture hardware miscellaneous no dude look at all the clothes and things you can buy 10 bucks for underwear the prices here really aren't bad 10 bucks for pants 10 bucks for sneakers I really could use some new sneakers here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the uh how about some nice white white shoes here. Do those go to our inventory? I'm gonna use them. And does that change them on our feet? It's not a consumable item. I think we're gonna have to use this in our clo we're gonna have to move them into our closet, and then I think we're gonna be able to put them on from there. Your access to certain locations and eligibility for some jobs is determined by your personal appearance. You can customize your appearance by using the wardrobe in your residence. Dude, what? So we're going to dress here for shoes. Wait, how do I... I'm going to go to our storage. If I move this in here, and then if I go to, to dress, I don't see the option. We've got some some work boots here. Do we have anything else? Can we, can we change? Do like a little jacket, give ourselves some glasses, some nice white undies. We've got pants we could choose from i'm gonna go for the darker pants we could go with a little beanie or a ball cap i'm gonna say nothing on there though this is cool like th this is really well done we can use our microwave 
I'm gonna take this out. It's a nuke box, so I'm assuming it goes in... We're nuking it. It's a nuke box. Nuking it in the microwave. And then we could take this. It's cooked in our inventory. And we're gonna use it, and that's gonna bring this back up. We can drink out of the sink, which, dude, I... Who does it like a nice, cold drink out of the sink? I like to drink straight from the faucet, though. I'm, maybe I'm a little bit weird. I'm not sure. Can we cook things in our oven, maybe? We don't have a, a freezer, per se. We've got space in our cupboards. Should we use this? We haven't used this yet. Lottery ticket. How do we win? Oh, we won a doll. Okay. I was going to get really excited. Oh, you can see the backside of it. So three cameras is a dollar. Three balloons is five. 50 bucks for the fireworks. Okay, I think, do we have another one? Yeah, let's try, let's try this one. So let's see. We're looking for three hearts is 50 bucks. Three hearts, three hearts, three hearts, three hearts, three hearts. Nope. So gambling's not working. I think we need to make some real money. We are going to be opening up our own retail store. Now, if we go into our retail rentals app, we've got the Cutler City Center rental here. Located in the city center, the storefront is sure to attract plenty of customers. It's got enough space to stock all those impulse buys that your customers will be Snatching up, plus a private restroom so your employees can take a break from all that money making. You could set lease terms to fit your specific needs. I rented it for one day. It's 50 bucks a day to be able to rent. And now, I believe this is our own personal sh It's a game store. We've got action games, adventure games, racing games, and sports games. Look at this shelving. I mean, this is... This is pretty nice. We've got some music playing. Looks like we've got our, uh, our little checkout counter here. Can we... Oh, can't, can't mess with that. Back here in the back. Looks like this is our loading bay. Another computer back here. I'm not sure how to get inventory. I know there's a way. I mean, might, might as well break her in, right? Yep, let me just go ahead and take care of business real quick. Make sure we wash our hands. Feels good to have some retail space, some brick and mortar here. Is there a way? This this looks like it's like a tech computer. This is definitely our, our point of sale here. I don't see how we're supposed to stock the shelves, though. Can I go to the internet? Long Shot Casino, what's a Ada is is cars, Vault Nightclub, Lawson Motors. I don't see anything where... I'm trying to look... Oh, there's a retail button with R. Hold on. Re... Oh, so we can enter our store name. We've got store ratings and reviews. We can change the store type. Video games, appliances, electronics. I'm going to stick with video games. We're going to be open from 10 to 7 p.m. That's pretty good. Maybe maybe 9. Ah, 10 to 7 is probably good because people getting off work at 5 and, and coming in to, to purchase things. Can see our inventory purchase also merchandise from a local warehouse and park in the loading bay of your store to transfer merchandise to inventory. So is that this? This is our loading bay. Do we have? Oh, we've got a little a little loading loading spot here. Okay, beautiful. So we're we're gonna be able to go to a warehouse, purchase goods, and then we're gonna be able to bring it back here, load it in. We can run promotions. We can run advertising campaigns. We can see our stats, employees. How do you hire employees? I'm not sure. We're gonna have to. I, I think. Can we open store? No products in stock. We need to get products and then we're gonna be able to open the store. Okay, so you guys are not gonna believe this. We have been running around up and down this street doing everything on foot. And as it turns out, I believe this is our truck. I, I was looking up how to stock your store, what we're supposed to do. You can't order a delivery, you have to go pick it up. And I'm like, well, how, how are we gonna do that? Because we can afford a car, we've got $700. This right here, this Lawson Commando, is our truck. We started this game with the truck. We just didn't know it. So we we can hop in this bad boy and we can we can go explore the outer territories of this map. So we're going to get out of the city center here. I'm honestly not sure what to expect and I kind of feel like we probably should have gone out in the daytime so we can see it a little bit better. But we are oh there's something over here. I mean, do we trust the sketchy dirt road? I kind of I kind of feel like we come back to this later. I kind of feel like that's not a good idea right now, the, the sketchy road leading into the woods. Like I said, I've gotten some weird vibes in this game so far, so we're just gonna, we're gonna drive around. We've got a fuel count up in the top right, so we're gonna be careful about that. Let me see what this says here. Lakeview Prospect and Coral Shores. Is that another, I don't, that's not a road off to the right. We've got other traffic out here. Dude, this is crazy. So th this map is, is huge. That's what we were talking about before. Like if, if we had a, a huge, ooh, ooh. 
this looks kind of warehousey, does it not? Hold on a second. I'm going to pull this guy. Ah, oh, look at that. We park in the spot and we've got our warehouse. We've got video games, we've got appliances, or we've got electronics. There's alarm clocks, speakers, headphones, smartwatches, and projectors. Here in appliances, we've got toasters, coffee makers, juicers, blenders, or kettles. And in video games, we've got action, adventure, racing, sports, and RPG. Interesting. So we can get a set of 10 for 200 bucks. So I mean, 20 bucks a piece. Yeah, I'll, I'll add this to our cart. I'm gonna say action, let's do racing. Let's do RPG, and that's pretty much all we're gonna be able to do. Take a look at our cart here. Check out for 600 bucks, and I think, I think we're good to go. I think there's something in the back of our truck here. Okay, so now I'm assuming we would take this back to our store. We're gonna wanna stock our shelves, and then we're gonna wanna open things up and, and hopefully actually be able to make some sales. Did this, so there's there's other stuff back that way too. I, I don't, we can't see much right now in the nighttime, so I'm not gonna get too far ahead of ourselves, but tomorrow during the day, I think, you know, if we can hire an employee, have them run the store, and then we can venture out and see what kind of trouble we can get into. So our store would be back here, right? I think we're gonna wanna, wanna go around into our personal loading area, which is, so the, the, the bright yellow is what you can interact with. Yeah, look at this. We've got three, three pallets of games back here, so we can go use your phone to rent the property. We, it, did it just pass midnight? We paid $50 to have a store for four hours that had nothing in it. All right, that was a bit of a mistake, but it's it's gonna be fine. So we're gonna go in retail rentals. I guess we prop, I'm gonna do one day, but I'm gonna turn auto renew on. So now every day it's gonna charge us 50 bucks and hopefully we're gonna be able to make enough to keep this thing going. So now if we go inside, we've got our, our merchandise in the loading bay. I guess if we go to retail here, do we have to be in the, ah, there it is. Okay, so we've got our 10 action games, racing games, and RPG games. Those have all been loaded. If we go inside, we should be able to access our retail menu, and we've got these for sale. So it looks like we've got a 50% markup so far. Each customer is unique and willing to pay a certain maximum amount of money for a product. A customer may be dissatisfied if the product they're looking for is grossly overpriced or out of stock. If you use to permanently close the store, you can liquidate all inventory by using the button. So immediately sell all inventory at 75% of the lowest wholesale price. So we, okay. I'm going to say let's do let's do 35 on all of these. I, I wonder, I mean, they, they sell for 60 in real life. Let's do 40. I'm going to start at 30. I, I, I want to get some good reviews off the bat. I'm a little bit worried about reviews and things. I can't enter a store name here. We can do a promotion. What if we did action games at 35 and then did, what would that be? Like a 15% discount? That's a sketchy sales tactic that people use. They price things up and then make you think you're getting a deal. So we'll see how that goes. Purchase an advertising campaign as a one-time expense to increase customers' traffic to your store. We could, I mean, let's do like an opening day thing here. We're going to start this. Oh, we want to op open the store. Enter a store name. Instead of GameStop, we're gonna be Game Go, baby. All right, so we can open the store. I'm gonna run an advertising campaign. Now, we aren't actually gonna be open till 10 a.m. How do we hire employees? I don't, oh gosh, this is bad. We, we, we've invested a lot in this. We've got $36. I mean, we've, we've got inventory on the shelves. Circuit Sprint 4 is our racing game. We've got it for, I mean, black would be PC. I don't know what orange would be. Red would be Switch, PlayStation, then Xbox down there. We've got uh, Saga. That looks pretty good. And over here, we've got Bloodshed as an action game. Looks kind of like a, a Call of Duty style. All right. So we, we've got some inventory on the shelves. The store is going to open in the morning time. I don't know if we have an employee. I'm, I'm not sure how to hire an employee, but I do feel like things are starting to look up a little bit. Look at that, we've even got our sign out front. It's it's nice that our apartment is just across the street here. So uh, we need to go back. I need to get some water. We need to get some sleep. We need to get, I mean, sleep's not terrible. We need to take a shower, maybe try to find some food. I am a little bit nervous about the food situation. I'm excited to get out and explore. I wonder if we're gonna be able to find a supermarket or a fast food place or something like that out in the, um, the world as soon as it's daytime. It's just kind of hard to see at night here. So I'm gonna go back. We're going to, uh, I guess, call it a night. Let me drink out of the sink real quick. I'm gonna take a couple of drinks to be able to get us up to 100%. And I'm thinking we're gonna take a shower. Let's get some shut-eye, use the restroom, do whatever we gotta do. And tomorrow is gonna be a great day. 
grand opening of Game Go, hopefully exploring the map a little bit more and hopefully starting to make some money. I guess we'll see if it works out for us. So I'm going to see you guys in part three. Thanks for watching. Peace out.